What? You never seen new comb before? <laughs> what? I'm headed to do a cutout today and I'm gonna be joined by your friend and mine, everybody's favorite beekeeper, Jeff Horchoff, AKA Mr. Ed. This is what we're removing today. Got a feral colony built in the floor space between floors. Confirmed with the uh, FLIR camera. Back in there behind that nightstand. We already pulled the soffit open. They're not in there. And the heat signature is in here. So I think that's where they're at. I, I hope they haven't gone into the framing of the garage roof as well. Because sometimes they do that. They'll, they'll build across framing sections. But hopefully they're all right there in that corner. <laughs> Man, I I just broke a sweat and you show up. Hey, I'm like a callus. I show up and the work's done. <laughs> What's up, brother? Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. Come on in. All right. Your foot, your 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 uh, heat camera. It's in the truck. Well, how do you know they're right there? Cause that's how I found them. Yeah, drill a hole. Drill a hole and a hit insulation. And I uh, poked a straightened out coat hanger up in there and hit honey. I'm going to get my camera. <laughs> you don't even pick them up. That's because you got that cheap camera. All the way in the corner. If you go upstairs, it picks them up and through the floor. I wonder if it's the insulation is it's holding it. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I already found them, man. You, you found them, honey. Big deal. I already know where the queen's at. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, here they are in the wall. And you are not going to believe the size of this. Uh, look at the size of that signature. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that noise? The size of that city, these bees have got to be mammoth. Wait, who is that? <laughs> Wait a minute, you can't believe I didn't get my recorder on. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, here it is inside the house, and look at the size of that signature we're getting on the camera. A lot of movement on it. I tell you, that thing is huge. It's huge. Let me show you what the, what it's really gonna look like. Why don't you get to work and quit playing? Whoa, we got the same that rooster. I know. <laughs> no, here we go. Grace of God, these girls going home with a dirt rooster in one of his dirty old boxes. Here we go. <laughs> One of his dirty old boxes. One of his dirty old boxes. The troublesome some ride again. <laughs> I see him. You see him? No. I see him. I see you. That's good. Now that not you see him first. <laughs> There's nothing in it. I thought you had a queen. I got some already waxed. It's already waxed ready for him. <laughs> you can tell that has been in the box for a few days. <laughs> I guess that the... I don't, I don't understand how that that pitch is working. It's just built on the side of that veneer, it looks like. I still like when you find a big cavity like that. I brought a 
boxing. Man, you've been out here already, hadn't you? I changed up the equipment, yeah. <laughs> what did you, why do you bring this stuff to try to sabotage my work? Well, it's new, and I was kind of thinking you might get exposed to that kind of stuff. You know this is what we got to have for this. <laughs> now, there you go. That's dirt rooster stuff right there. Yeah. Man, it's still slimy. That's it. And it's perfect. <laughs> Them bees will love that. Ooh. It's been out in the rain and everything. It's got a nice smell to it, too. See, you don't even have a light up there. See, that would, I'd, I'd be like angry right now. I'd be angry. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't see. I'm an old blind guy. I'm telling you. I got a flashlight. That don't mean, look, I, I got, I got those like 5,000 candle watt halogen lights that, that like melt the sheetrock down so you can see. <laughs> you don't need to see all that action. They just want to see the meat. <laughs> No. What'd you lose? I thought it was a cluster of bees that landed on me. It was a giant It's a big old cockroach. Yeah. Gee, there's a surprise to see that in, in yeah, the yeah. Mississippi. Big surprise. See how this is uh, roach feces. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know that it's not uh, bee caca? Well, because bee caca is yellow and they poop outside. Yeah, they're very sanitary. They are. But if you doubt me, taste it and see if it tastes like honey. Mm, pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of lost my appetite when I saw that one. <laughs> see how chewed that insulation? Made him, a, made him a little spot. Oh, you know what? It might go over. Think positive. I'm, I'm being positive, but I also try to be realistic. Not the first or the second one. If that's third one, when you get to that third one, fourth one, it's gonna be beyond. Hang on to your bridges. Then they trying to get them, trying to get them a drink before I pull that out. Well, that had a lot more honey in it than I thought. Oh, it was capped, so you're in good shape. You know, it's funny as I dropped that whole chunk down my chest and about 10 bees stuck to me, but I didn't get stung. <laughs> Pretty amazing, huh? That's, that's a real bee. <laughs> that's getting ready to come out. And I get stung as soon as I grab that. This is going to be honey. Oh, and it's heavy too. See, the bad part of this is I know where the queen is, but I can't get to her because all this honey's in the way. <laughs> is that the big one? No, I got a bigger ladder in the truck. So, uh, I don't like to make things any easier than, than, I, than I have to. <laughs> Just a small enough hole to reach in. <laughs> no sense in cleaning out a little area. No. No, no point in that. Uh -uh. I didn't even know that was an option. Big chunk of honey. 
Lots of bees. They're all feeding up on it right now. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. They are. They're taking it back much as they can anyway. I prefer to use a knife, but just in a spot. I better stop that. You're going to attract bees in there. That's a beautiful food. I've got my, my little, my small knife, Randy. That I think it would, it would work. You want to try that? Cause you want to, you want to. I mean, this is the brood next. So. Man, this is just difficult. Do a little queen search. Jeff's going to get a knife he wants to use. I can't believe you're not interested in trying out honey that's been, Me either. been stored you know, under your know. bed. I'm always eating stuff out from under my bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually on the bed post thing. Yeah. <laughs> Got a problem. What's the problem? A lot of comb. <laughs> oh, look at that. Let me grab it top here from you. You know, they kill me if I, when I hand you this thing and you find it. You know, it's going to kill me. <laughs> Now it finally breaks. <laughs> Man, there's still more comb in there, Andy. Woo! Now I see what's going on here. I love it when they come in with that red pollen. What the heck is red pollen? I don't know. You see, this is when I wish I had the flashlight early where I you know, pull that frame to look on it. There's not a lot of bees up in here left though, Randy. Spit shine halfway put back together and it ain't even dark yet. And that's all thanks to Mr. Ed. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> this one I'm not fixing. I just take the sheet right back over the hole and keep the air conditioning in. Yes. Well, 
Hey, look, Jeff found the queen. <laughs> Get your cage, quick! <laughs> you know, I did see one drone there, and that, and all that. Well, that's one right there. That's two drones right there. Well, this is the baseball glove. <laughs> baseball comb. All these bees are just coated with honey because they get in there and uh, this happens in a cutout. They'll get in all that honey and they'll just water on each other. And if, so if you got to keep your cutouts pretty dry or as dry as possible or you'll end up with just a bunch of dead bees in a bucket. Full man stuff, you want to get some video? Nah, I'm not worried about a video. Nah, man, you got to do a video. You know, you know what, the, uh, the videos, they just take so doggone time you know they, they make your job almost twice as long yeah they do